Okay, guys. We have a new game uh, by Capablanca. Really, really nice game by him. Computer is saying that it is smooth, meaning that Capablanca just played really uh, every move, helped one another, and he wasn't losing any of his advantage and initiative. So let's see. D4, knight of six. C4, E6, names the Indian. Knight C3, Bishop B4. Bishop B4 is stopping white from completely uh, controlling the center. If we didn't, if he didn't play that move, then white could probably push E4, and a lot of he would have a lot of space and a lot of control of the center. Queen c2, protecting the knight, and also uh, trying to push e4 maybe. c5, takes. Taking is good because you don't want to waste time maybe to playing e3 and should shut out the bishop. And maybe this move and then recapture here. Instead, you just move, you just take, and he has also has to lose time by taking. Knight c6, knight f3 is a developing pieces, takes and developing. Again, just simple developing, nothing to nothing to do. Maybe he could have played a little bit more aggressive, knight g5, but this is good as well. D5, hitting the center, E6, E3, another nice move, quiet move, just trying to develop his bishop. Queen A5, Bishop E2, developing the bishop, and now uh, Bishop B4. So black is gonna take here, and then Capablanca is gonna have isolated pawn but that doesn't that does not matter because uh, black is losing a lot of time and time in the opening in the, is crucial so he moved this bishop one two three times and that's why that's a not good strategy castle takes takes castle and we kind of finish development. Capablanca has a lot of uh, uh, really active pieces. And on the black side, this bishop is not yet developed. So white has an advantage, even though he has maybe these doubled pawns here. Rook okay to b1. Putting the pressure here, he has this pawn is developed, but this move has the purpose of also uh, not allowing this bishop to to be de developed so easily. He cannot play this because he's gonna drop this pawn. And also, if he plays b6, then this queen is gonna be cut off here on the queen side. He cannot return here. Maybe if he has to protect something here on the king side. So that's why he plays queen a3. So if he wants to play b6 next move, then this queen can return this way. But of course, by playing b b6, this knight then is not going to have a protection and Overall, you see that black already has some problems here. Rook f to d1, developing, putting the last piece into the action before doing anything decisive, before starting a really fierce attack against black position. b6, and now Capablanca is starting his attack. First, he takes and 
the purpose of this move is to force this move and of course if black takes here we can play this move and he cannot take because we're gonna play bishop here and attack both of both rook and uh, queen and win an exchange so that's why he plays this and now we play knight g5 the threat of course is checkmate but he he's gonna defend of course we know that but now his position his pawn structure is ruined this pawn is bad and also we are bringing now the bishop here on the square that the knight was occupy occupying the moment ago and now you see these bishops are really really strong queen c5 queen is trying to go back and protect a little bit his knights that are kind of exposed here and now Capablanca plays a really nice combination c4 is lodging the knight from this position and if he took here then that wouldn't be good for him because I think uh, black can just let me see that variation if he took yes we have rook b5 then he's gonna he's gonna lose probably both knights and now this piece is attacked and this piece is attacked so at first this move looks like he's, you, you, you're giving up the bishop pair but you you gonna gain materi material if he takes here that's why he plays <clears throat> knight before but you see that his pieces are really not really uh, not good placed really this disconnected you see the that because this bishop is not developed uh, that is gonna cost him the game after queen b3 now the threat is uh, maybe to uh, what would the threat uh, yes the threat is just to go here and of course we have another threat so that's why he tries to block the bishops but with simple a3 we have this nice last move bishop takes c6 and white resigned here the reason why he resigned because Capablanca has this nice discovered attack followed by smother mate and if he takes we give this check and you all of you probably know this smother mate if you go in the corner and he can he can give this bishop he, he can give this bishop and that's those are things but if he gives up this bishop then he's gonna lose he's gonna lose even more material here so if he moves the rook then he's gonna probably lose the queen so overall really nice display of uh, nice opening by Capablanca not hurrying and when was when he was ready starting an attack and really nice combinations some really nice combinations as well 
from here. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. See you in the next video.